In this video we continue with kinetic modelling, now moving on to reference tissue based models. Reference tissue kinetic models were developed to avoid the complexities of collecting blood data that you would have to do for classical compartmental models. However, there are critical assumptions that must be carefully considered. The reference tissue must be completely devoid of the tracer target, yet have very similar tracer delivery and washout to the target region. In this way, the reference tissue time activity curve provides the information about tracer delivery to the target tissue that would otherwise be provided by the blood data. This allows the two tissue compartment model to be simplified. In this example, we again start by deriving time activity curves from a brain pet example. So we start in the view tool. Again, we use the demo database and a subject with the name starting pkin, but now we'll select subject pkin2, which uses the tracer DASB. And again, there are three series available from which we need the dynamic pet. Once again, we've prepared simple VOIs for this example, which are available in the demo database. We can explore the data to see how the tracer behaves over the time from injection through to the tail of the study. And again, we see a wash in followed by wash out. If we then proceed to the VOIs page, then from the demo database, we can load the DASB regions file for this example, which provides us with 11 brain regions that were manually outlined on this data. Next, we calculate the time activity curves for transfer. And we can set the model selection to reference tissue. Next, we send these time activity curves to the kinetic modeling tool, opens the tool with a new project, and now we can move on to the reference tissue modeling process. Having chosen reference tissue in the time activity curve preparation, now the reference tissue radio button on the right lateral taskbar is automatically set, meaning that the model list has been filtered to the reference tissue based models. From the model list, then make sure that we've selected the simplified reference tissue, the SRTM model. The cerebellum will be our reference region for this example, and then we can select another region, such as the larger temporal cortex region, to start the modeling process. Next, we can fit the current region, and we see the blue model curve fitted to our green points from the measured time activity curve. Again, on the right-hand side, on the standard tab, we see the parameters for the model fitted with standard error and for this ref simplified reference tissue model we would take the BPND, the non-displaceable binding potential, as our main output parameter. If the model fit is satisfactory, as it is here, the model and parameters can be copied to all regions and then the model fit in all regions automatically. We can then inspect the model fit in alternative regions using the region menu. Here we see for thalamus we also have a satisfactory model fit and a BPND value. Then in the lower right using view parameters we can view the tabulated results for all regions. In this case we'll be ignoring the cerebellum results since this was the reference region. And for all of the other regions, we have BPND that can be exported, and we have appropriate model fit criteria on the right hand side. Again, these results can be copied to clipboard, or we can go and save the project as a KM file using the kinetic menu 
save km file where we can enter something like this DASB SRTM example.